Hi everyone, I want to show you my DT projects because there are more than one for Cindy's scrap shop. And if you don't know her shop, please hop over. She really has some amazing items in their store and she really has very, very good prices and she ships international. And if you shop from um, at Cindy's store, don't forget to use my coupon code Patricia10. So Patricia with a Z from Zorro. And uh, that will give you a 10% discount of uh, at your total purchase. So the items I use from Cindy's store is a piece of this gorgeous lace here. Or pieces. I also used this gorgeous lace here or trim. I used this one here very beautiful to create a flower with I used this and you will see what I did with this something very adorable I also used this trim I used a lot of the chipboard flowers I used one of the hearts I used to, the butterflies. Yep, I did use a lot because I, as I said, there are several projects. Uh, one of the bees. I used several of these gorgeous little bling pieces. I used two of the words. I also used <laughs> this trim here. Gorgeous, this one. I also used the bling trim here, soft elastic, there's one trim that I finished completely and uh, I will show you which one and I used of course the little rondelles, beautiful spacer beads and then I used uh, bits and bobs from my first teeth package. As I said I created several projects because um, they're also created gifts for my crafty meetup on the 21st of September with my favorite YouTube ladies and these are I will build up from 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 small to large projects so I created um, a pillar box for each of the ladies um, this is a trim that I completely finished, very ideal for the pillow boxes because it's stretchy. Just so it's this beautiful stretchy heart shaped lace from Cindy store. Um, made a pillow box with a We Are Memory Keeper sponge board. Um, this is a rosette with a, from a Tim Holtz die. And I used um, in the middle one of the chipboard flowers and the bling. Bit by bit, just one of the trims up and look how lo nice it looks in the middle of the flower. Uh, all the rest is quite the same. Um, here, just the rosettes vary, but and again in the middle, there's a the, the chipboard flower. There's this a beautiful heart-shaped lace. And this is for the third lady. Sh um, Nancy is a hostess of... Um, of our uh, crop meetup so she will have a, a little bit of extra now each box does contain just a small tiny gift again the lace rosettes the love these little flowers they really look adorable in, in the middle of the rosette and this one is uh, for another lady but yeah well you know probably who we will be meeting I'll be meeting the Desda Leonia Nancy again and then Sylvia which is um, Nadezda's mother, uh, mother-in-law, and this one is for Nadezda. Here I used a bigger uh, chipboard or wood chipboard flower, and I used one of the bling pieces from my previous tea package. And all the pillow boxes have these um, dangle laces. Now that's one, two for the ladies. Uh, I also created. I'm gonna re-pull this straight. There. 
this one is a card i'm not going to go too much in detail in this one from leone because i did not use anything from uh, cindy Shaw store here this is a card i created for leone and it has some scent scented candles in and i will go more in detail here this is quite the same um tea light card it contains three tea lights and i adorned here the window of the tea light with the laces from cindy's scrap shop and these are flatback pearls from my stash but cindy does sell the same flatback pearls in her store and uh, the little corners are the heart pearl hearts that i had in my previous the tea package and just tied it all together with some uh, ribbon and here i used the chipboard letters and then the flowers on one of the trim just cut them apart and use again the little blink pieces in the middle and here i adorned the pockets with the laces you see this is the lace where i cut the flowers from again flat backs from my star a little tag that says good friends or like stars you don't always see them but you know they're always there and again here um the top of the tag one of the little flowers and one of the blings that i cut and then the little butterfly from my previous tea package and in the back i wrote my name and crafty meetup 21st february 2016 i did that for all the ladies adding such a tag and then a little word bead from my stash and a vintage image and this is how the two cards for two of the ladies look like I don't know if the cam that maybe this way yep this way is better and this is the other one um and then this is one of the bigger cards for the hostess of the sh of our meetup and uh, this lady likes purple colors that's why you will see that a lot of her items are in with purple and lilacs lilac colors I created for her a bigger tea light box card and it contains four uh, lavender tea lights um, this is um, it wouldn't be a video of mine if I forgot again what is this this plastic from my stash um, in the corners I put the teeny tiny wood veneers from Cindy's crab shop and if you see here these cute adorable flowers were created with this trim very very easy and look how cute these flowers look you just take um, some stamen you glue them and you start rolling 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 late and you see how the little pompons start to form petals and that's how I created these adorable flowers here then I added some uh, lilac flowers or purple flowers from my stash um, this is gorgeous lace from Cindy's store and a paper doily in the back and then here's the bee just as an embellishment because it is too beautiful to cover up I put it in a way that like the bee was flying away from from the flower cluster these is our vintage bead sprays that I had in my stash now um, the corner was um, done with some Chevy pink frontage added a little butterfly here some flat back pearls an image um, that I found on Pinterest and here in the corner you see the beautiful bling trim from her store and if you look at the side here is one of the words I used and that's the word happy and attached on at the Y I made this little angel flower and I used one of the spacer beads as aureola on this little butterfly angel down on the bottom I used just some organza ribbon from my stash um, a little applique flower and then a bling bling piece from my previous ZT package and uh, in the back I put again a tag I don't know if I put something on here nope 
not with Nancy. But uh, I will write something down on the on the tag as well. And here, this is how it looks, open, matching her little pillow box. And this is how it will look when it's closed. So that's another gift finished. Yep, I told you there were several. And this is for another lady. This is for Nadezda actually because she organized it all. She took it upon her to organize this meetup for us. And um, I created another yep, tea light box card. This time different. And this is how I decorated the front. At the side you see a Tim Holtz uh, die. And I adorned, uh, cut out the butterflies twice and uh, went around with stick gold stickles. And in the middle I put flatback pearls and the blink trim from Cindy's store. Again here the vintage sprays that I have from my staff. In the back beautiful lace from um, Cindy's store. And then there's a cluster of flower and a rosette. And again I used in the middle of the rosette the little chipboard flowers. And one of the little blinks. And I made a bow here. Um, on top here. I used the word create from her store. And uh, I shabbied it up with a uh, frontage. This time with uh, the Chevy gold. I also. I will show the pin later. Um, did the same with the doily here. The paper doily in the back. The Chevy it up with the frontage gold. Tucked, ripped the paper, tucked some flowers behind, created this little bow with one of the gorgeous blink pieces from her store, added this sentiment here, to craft or not to craft, and then tiny underneath it's what a silly question, and I thought it was just ideal to go with it, and these flatback pearls are dropping off like... Um, and the dress form decorated with twice with lace from Cindy's store. Here is the flower lace, and here's a little pom pom lace, flat back for my sash. And if I go up, just adorn it with a little flower, and then one of the flowers from the lace from Cindy's shop in the back. And I gave her a little collar with the blink pieces and a flat back pearl. And I also created this clothespin. Again, I used one of the spacer beads on the angel. And glued paper on. And I went over it with uh, embossing powder. And I glued one of the flowers and the blink pieces from her store. And something dropped. And if you open the box, this is how it will look on the inside. I will keep this up because I added here a pack pocket again with my name and it was a crafty meetup and I adorned it with a blink from Cindy's store as well as the lace and here I tucked um, some tea lights these are cinnamon I tried to adapt the, the colors of the <laughs> tea light candles to the papers and the style that I used and adorned just a box with um, a brown ribbon the papers I used are a papers from my local store and and voila this is how it looks when it's closed and then the angel dangles I really um, this is not an idea of my idea I just saw this idea on a blog from a lady called uh, Bernadette if I can find her blog again I will put a link to this lady down below in the description box because she does have beautiful cards on her blog and I'm gonna pick up something that I dropped, which was a name, a name tag, and a last, but not least, is the uh, is the biggest and the largest project of all for the hostess. And I asked Nadezza what she liked and I remembered that she liked the one that I had here in my house that I made last year, two years ago, as a DT project for somebody else. And so I created for her 
these rosette flower pots. And on um, the back side you see this big large rosette which was created with a Tim Holtz die. And again used one of the beautiful gorgeous butterflies on Cindy's store. Very detailed and I shamed it up with a shabby pink embossing powder. Um, applique from my stash and a flat back pearl from my stash. On this rosette um, I used the Martha Stewart punch. One of my hand crocheted flowers and it has one of the gorgeous bling from her store. And dangling on the side the beautiful heart. Again shabbed it up with, uh, on both sides with a frontage. There's another rosette here from a Tim Holtz die with my a flat back pearl from my stash. But if I'm not wrong Cindy does sell quite similar flat back pearls in her, in her store. On this rosette. Again, one of the flowers, as you see, I use them a lot because they're adorable to use on these rosettes with one of the blinks. And this is a butterfly from my previous DT package. And in the back, uh, another rosette. This one was handmade and hand fold, so no dye. Um, one of my lilac uh, crocheted flowers with a resin rose in the middle. Then here's a pinwheel with a flat back pearl for my stash. Uh, this teeny tiny rosette also carries the flower from Cindy's store here. And again, I used to die from tin holes. Created another pinwheel here. And again, in this flower in the center, one of the smaller flowers. So, Cindy's store and the bling. Uh, around the pot, I used the leftover from the feather trim. I thought it looked very shabby in the pot. So, I added in the pot. The remaining feather trim from my previous CD package. And then this little cute birch which you can take out because it's just pinned in with a toothpick. And and then on the pot more yamines from Cindy store. You see here the gorgeous shabby trim. Love this trim. It's beautiful. And then on underneath there is the other gorgeous um, scallop trim from her store on the side I cut the applique that she gave in my DT package up in two pieces and I put one on the right and the other piece is on the left and then added the bling from my previous DT packages package and uh, this came in my previous DT package as well the pink blinks and in the middle I created a flower um, now I saw recently I, uh, Cindy does sell this quite similar lace in her so but this lilac one is from my stash but she does have this um, either in white or cream I'm sure with the roses and doily from my stash this is one of her gorgeous lace trims that I ruffled up with a running stitch and created a ruffled flower one of my crochet flowers and a flower applique for my stash and one of the gorgeous bling that came in my previous ZT package and then I created this stick pin in the shape of an angel and I used on top again one of the gorgeous spacer beads and uh, this one is a very very large project it will be hard to put everything in frame but we do run it over so this is one project for the lady so this is these are projects I created for the hostess as you see I kept it in quite in the, in the lilac colors and then these are the small gifts that I created for the other ladies so I hope you like my DT projects I went a bit overboard <laughs> because I did create it a lot but I hope you like it and maybe I inspired you a little bit with the, with the tea light cards. If there's interest in a, in a tutorial in one of the cards, please let me know. I will try and do my best to do a tutorial on one of the cards. I'm more than happy to do that. Um, I enjoy making these. They are lovely gifts as you can see. Thank you all for watching and commenting. Bye.